Hey guys, Bob here. I just wanted to do a short video uh, on the process of gluing PVC pipe. So I set up a couple of fittings here, as you can see, and I just want to walk you through the process of cutting and measuring off a piece of pipe. Now, what I do when I'm cutting PVC pipe, I use the hacksaw generally. That's my preferred method. I work predominantly on inch and a half to two inch, occasionally three inch and four inch pipe. Um, now they make PVC cutters for this, but they get a little pricey. And if you're doing a lot of PVC uh, work, it, it probably pays to get one. But for the occasion, uh, occasional PVC job, I, I use a hacksaw. And what I do is, my process is this. I will measure from one end. It's got to be a square end of pipe. It can't be a crooked end, because for obvious reasons. And what I'll do is I'll put a pencil mark at whatever my measurement is in, 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 in different places along the piece of pipe. And then I'll just keep turning that pipe and keep replicating the mark. Once I get a mark all around, I'll take the pencil and mark it all around. Now I have a, a pencil mark to guide myself. Then what I do is I take my hacksaw and what I do, you got to remember guys, hacksaws uh, are, are, are made to have the blade with the teeth facing away so you cut on the downstroke. Well if you try doing that on a piece of PVC, it's not, it's, not really, it's not really too cool because it jumps all over the place. So what I do is, my trick, is I turn it around and I cut on the upstroke. And what I'll do is I'll go all around my pencil mark. All around my pencil mark with short little jerking motions, as you can see. And I go all the way around the pipe until I get a groove cut. I don't cut through. I cut a groove, which, which lays a track for my blade... Uh, to be guided from. Now, even though I have this guide, I still don't cut all the way through. What I'll do is I'll make short little jerking movements and until the blade actually gets through the pipe. And you'll feel when the blade drops through the pipe. And I'll keep turning my pipe until it goes all the way through. And eventually, that'll that'll pop, pop right off. I mean, this works for me. A lot of guys try to cut all the way through more often than not. They get a, they end up with a crooked piece of pipe. And there we go. So then we can put our hacksaw to the side and what we end up with is a piece of pipe here. And they make reamers for this where you can go in and ream the inside of the pipe out. But again, don't leave home without it. My trusty Leatherman tool and I can just very neatly clean up the inside of the pipe and I can actually clean the outside of the pipe. And, and you have a relatively square clean cut without the aid of a, of a cutter. Now, the gluing process. Here's the glue, my glue, my primer. I'm gonna make a suggestion. When you're working with glue and primer, get yourself a plastic bucket from Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever you shop. Set these inside of the bucket, because in the event that these fall over, you'll be relatively safe. Uh, a metal bucket is better, because this is uh, this will just melt plastic, so a little metal bucket will work. Um, if you drop this on linoleum, if you drop it on a rug, uh, you're going to be in for a new floor, floor job. Now, purple primer, clear glue. Why is this purple? The reason it's purple, because here in New York, especially if the job's going to be inspected, they want to be able to verify that you use the primer. Now, we have clear primer. I prefer clear primer. It makes a neater looking job, especially if the one doing it is rather sloppy. But the inspector will not pass the job if we don't use purple primer. So this is the reason for purple primer. Now, what do I do? I try to be as neat as possible, and I'll, I'll wipe the end of the swab off here to get all the residual out. And then it's a matter of going inside the fitting. And what this is actually doing is it's actually melting the plastic, if you will. It softens the plastic up. So that when you put these together, you actually form, uh, you weld the plastic to plastic. It's, it, it becomes one piece. And naturally, you're going to want to put some on the pipe. And again, we're working, these fittings are about three quarters of an inch deep. So, you know, you don't want to go I try not to go beyond that three-quarter mark so that when the fitting is in, 
I see the least amount of primer I have to. So now we have the primer on the pipe. Now it's glue time. So we take some glue, and the glue, in addition to the primer, actually softens up the plastic. And you don't have to slobber it all over the place, you know, sparingly works. Same process here, about three quarters of an inch. Now you have to work relatively fast, guys, because this stuff will dry up right away. The idea when you glue PVC together, you put it in and you twist as you go. And by twisting, you actually create a weld because the soft plastic on the inside of the fitting on the outside of the pipe become one. And once this sets up, guys, this is not coming out anymore. So when you're working with PVC, it's a one-shot deal. You don't get a second chance with PVC. Now, recently, a tool manufacturer has come out with a tool whereby you can actually cut this relatively close to the fitting, and you can bore out the pipe. They come in sizes anywhere from inch and a half up to, up to, up to God, as much as four inch. And you can actually bore out the piece of pipe and save the fitting. Let me tell you, I wish I had that tool uh, a few times because I've made some boo-boos in terms of uh, gluing up plastic and realized that after I glued it, uh, I made a mistake. And, and with, with plastic and with measuring and with putting uh, plastic together, especially dry fitting it, measure twice, guys. Cut once because you don't get a second chance with this stuff. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, you want to work in a well-ventilated area because uh, this stuff is horrid. And, uh, I mean, if you're working underneath the sink in closed quarters, I suggest you get a fan uh, to keep it well ventilated because you'll get a, you'll get a, good, um, you'll get a good buzz if you're under the sink with this stuff uh, for any amount of time. Well, folks, that's it. I'll be doing future videos on PVC and how to be fitting, uh, you know, uh, various pieces together and how to measure your takeoffs and allow for your allowances. Different size fittings have different allowances, but I just wanted to walk you through the process of gluing the PVC together today. Not difficult. You follow it step by step. Folks, I enjoyed you being here today. I hope you got something out of this. As usual, info at bobsplumbingvideos.com. Visit the website, bobsplumbingvideos.com. Any questions, please ask. I'll be happy to answer. Listen, guys, I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.